Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Kim. You're now tuned in to Sweet Kiss Creation. Glory be to God. Um, my God, this is a powerful word. And let's just invite the Holy Spirit in. All right, you ready? Let's pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we invite you in, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Move mightily, Lord God. Decrease me, O oh God, and increase the Bahura Bashanda Labosi. Let it be all of you and none of me, O oh God. Anoint your people's eyes and ears to hear and see what you're trying to say in this hour. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, this is your confirmation. I feel in my spirit that there's a woman that has been raped, right? And this may be, have been in your childhood or it's been years ago, some sort of molestation. But the father is saying he's healing you. Listen, sometimes, oh, sometimes you go through things and the enemy will try to distract you and tell you that you're less than because of certain things you had to experience, certain traumas. So he will try to afflict your soul, the enemy of your soul, okay? He tries to afflict your soul so that you feel unworthy, so that you can get into disbelief, unbelief, so that you can get into a, a doubt and, and be discouraged and not trust the Lord your God. My God, speak Holy Spirit. But the Father is saying that the land in which I Oh, Reba Shata. The land in which I curse is healed. Okay? So, and this is, is, is a testament of your repentance to God. So, at one time, you may have fallen away, but you have come, in, come back into the place of repentance, my God. And God is saying the land is healed. This is concerning your destiny, my God. Speak Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rabbi Shata. He is saying this is your confirmation, right? So he wants me to read Hebrews 6 and 7 to you. Glory be to God, Rabbi Hatele Boshata. For the land that has drunk the rain that often falls on it and produces a crop useful to those for whose sake it is cultivated receives a blessing from God. So Apostle Paul was writing saying that, you know, when a person sees the glory of God and then maybe he falls away, right? Then we know that you out of line with God, right? So you had to go through some things, right? My God. But God is saying, I'm healing you. And he actually wants me to pray with you. So right now in the name of Jesus, I bind and cast down every Bethlehem retaliating spirit that will try to come up against this word in the mighty, magnificent name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. Right now in the name of, I speak healing. Every evil spirit that is afflicting your soul to make you be in unbelief in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of unbelief, I bind and cast down to the pits of hell in Jesus' mighty name. Healing, Lord God. The person in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Take away anything, Lord God, that will be reminding us of the past, Lord God. Anything that is reminding them, Lord God. Any spirit, even every stronghold, Lord God, destroyed by Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus. Release your blessings upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Release your healing, O the Basimahata For everything can be found in your glory, Lord God. And the glory in which is Jesus Christ right now with the mighty, magnificent name of Jesus. Loose it in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that the enemy has tried to steal right now in the name of Jesus is released back to you. Possess your possessions in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I possess my possessions in the name of Jesus. Everything which the enemy tried to steal, I possess it in the name of Jesus. I possess my destiny in the name of Jesus. I am healed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I know that this has gotten to the right person. This is your confirmation. You are healed in the name of Jesus. I love you with the love of Christ. We'll talk soon. Bye.